Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and if you are new here, I welcome you to my channel. I do a lot of Disney content here. Please consider subscribing, hitting the like button on this video if you like this type of content. Today I'm going to be doing a fun haul, and with this bag, I can say I went to Company D! Kind of. <laughs> So my friend, um, I mentioned on the channel a couple times that I went to Com Company D over the past year, uh, and I, the last time I went was actually earlier this year, I believe I went in February or so, because I do have a cast member friend who works for Disney, who when he gets a chance to go, he thinks of me occasionally, and I really appreciate it, and he reaches out and he says, hey Christina, do you want to go to Company D? And I go, yes, yes, yes. Um, the way it's working now, Company D just recently reopened at the beginning of October. When you guys are seeing this, it'll probably be the beginning of November, and that's okay. I'm actually filming this today before Halloween. Just wearing my new, um, it's all, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus shirt. This is actually from the Disney outlet, not Company D, but my friend Jessie, who's a personal shopper, saw this and picked one up for me because she knows I'm such a huge Hocus Pocus person. And it fits! I'm so excited. I just, I literally just put it on so the tag is still there. But this is my size. So excited. I was like, I don't know if it's going to fit, but you just get it for me anyway. And she's like, of course, I got you. And it fits. So I have a new Hocus Pocus shirt. I'm wearing it with my Parks ears. And I just wanted to wear it for the rest of the video. So this is a Christmas bag that my friend also got from, I think she got it from the outlet as well, not Company D. But she put the stuff in here for me and she was like, I'm going to give you this Happy Holidays 2019 Christmas bag. So cute. I wasn't expecting this, but it, she said that she got this for a dollar. Um, when they were selling this last year, apparently the price was six dollars. But she got it for a dollar and gave it to me so that I would have a nice Christmas bag to go along with my collection because she loves me. So thank you again, Jessie. Um, but at any rate, my friend uh, got tickets again. And the way it's working now for Company D is for cast members, they do get to, uh, they still get to go to the store, but they have to reserve in advance and select a time. Um, and a window which they're going to be arriving and they can only do it um, so often and it has to be prearranged and they can only bring themselves and one other person and they have to be present so it's different from how it used to work. The time that my friend got unfortunately conflicted with my homeschooling schedule because my daughter is in school at daily at least until noon every day and there are two days a week that she goes until one o'clock or two o'clock depending on the day. So the day that he picked was actually the long day that I had to be at, I, I, I had to be home until two o'clock at least, manning the computer for my daughter. So I was like, I can't go, but my friend can go in my stead. So my friend Jesse got to go in place of me. He was like, what about your friend that always goes with you? And I'm like, I will reach out to her. And so she went, and then when she was there, she was calling me up on the phone and like, tell me what they had and ask me if I wanted it or not, tell me the prices. So this is what I picked out from Company D firsthand from my friend who went in person. And what's cool is that they were giving them an additional 20% off discount, which is even made it more amazing. He's already like heavily discounted and then they got a special 20% discount as a thank you for going and for the times that we're living in. So I am going to start off with my Company D haul. And then I have some other um, fun things since I have a Christmas bag. I'll show you some of the Christmas items I picked up from Marshalls and from Ross to show you what's like out there right now. And I also have a little bit from the Disney store as well, just looking fun me. So it's going to be a little bit of a collective haul as well. So if you like hauls, you're going to want to watch this one. Let's get into it. Okay, so I already showed you that my friend got me this shirt. So amazing from the Disney store. These were back at Company D, so I did ask her to get me one more. I used to have this back in the day. These are little Donald Duck butt ears with a little, like, tuft of hair right in the center. So cute, his little feet hanging out. These are the most adorable, like, headband ever. I did have several pairs in the past, but I gave them all away at this point. So I did ask her to get me one more because she was able to get that for me. So thank you, Jessie, again. Um, in addition to that, the thing that she was most excited about, and that I am too, when the California parks closed in Disneyland, they were about to open the Food and Wine Festival. I never got a chance to go. I think they maybe had just opened it, maybe, and I hadn't gone. I think it was, had been open for like a couple of days or something. Whatever the case might be. The Food and Wine Festival was supposed to be getting in full swing when they were forced to close. So all the merchandise they still just have sitting around. My friend picked me up the pair of ears from this year's Food and Wine Festival that I never got a chance to go to, but I do have the ears to prove it. And here's what they look like. They're like little chef's hat. I love the chef's hat in the center. It reminds me of my food and wine ears from, um, from the Florida parks from Epcot. And this is like a nice teal color. You've got a nice pink center bow. Kind of reminds me of Chef Louis' hat a little bit. And then it has this nice pink um, magenta lighting as well. And on this side, it's just teal. But on this side, it's actually embroidered. And it says 2020 Food and Wine um, Festival Disney California Adventure. 
so it's completely branded and that's pretty awesome that this is a dated pair of ears you know where this came from so it's a specialty pair of ears and my friend was able to get this for me I think the price was discounted to like eight dollars from 30 in the park so I was like I want them I want them so I have a new pair of ears from company D that was pretty cool um, the next thing that I have in here is uh, a necklace and this is a Christmas necklace so they had jewelry and um, I just thought this might be fun to have for the holiday season it does say my happy holiday place on the backer card and then this has like four different dangles I can see a snowflake Minnie Mouse wearing a scarf Mickey Mouse wearing a scarf and a Santa hat and then also a candy cane so this is what it looks like a little close up there four fun little charms and this fun little necklace and then you can see like the center band right there so something fun to wear come Christmas time thought that'd be adorable and again this was $20 originally in the parks and I believe that this was discounted down to like five dollars so yes <laughs> I am such a sucker for Christmas merch in general you guys if you watch my channel before you know that about me sorry I'm having a, like a mini coffee fit I'm starting to get like a throat tickle I'm starting to get a cold I believe and I've been fighting it but at any rate um this is a Santa Mickey hat I saw this and I said oh my god I want one so bad it's adorable so I grabbed not only one but two I have two of these because one of them I might be holding off in the future for a future giveaway or it might be for um, a future sale we'll figure it out when we get to the come Christmas time I am picking up some Christmas items for a Christmas giveaway so if you are already subscribed you might want to do that because I do count my public subscribers which means that if you think you're subscribed to me take a moment and double check make sure that you actually are subscribed I do have a lot of people that constantly enter my giveaways and I think they think that they're subscribed but then I go to their their channels and their subscriptions aren't public and I can't confirm that or even worse their subscriptions are public and my channel is not in that list at all which means I think in their minds they think that they have done it but they're actually not so just take that moment double check I've done that a couple times too where I was like I'm subscribed to you for sure and then I looked back and I was like maybe I'm not and then I had to resubscribe at that moment because I realized that I must have unsubscribed at some point or YouTube unsubscribed me or maybe I just never clicked the button like I thought I did even though I always go to check out their videos anyway so it happens I get it just go and check because this will be a subscriber only giveaway but this again is the Mickey Santa hat you can see it has the fun Mickey Santa hat right here it's like a Mickey Santa uh, body you can see the, you can see the Mickey ears sticking out of a fun Santa hat with like the uh, berries and holly his hat continues on the back it's all nice and painted and glittery glittery paint and over here you have Santa's buckle so I thought this was adorable a fun little um gem from the parks it does say Disney parks on the bottom and then these ear hats usually have the artist name so it has the artist signature I thought that these also had the character usually it does have like what says Belle on the bottom or it says Rapunzel for the Rapunzel ear hats but maybe because this is Mickey it doesn't say that I'm not sure but still really cute and the price in the parks was $25 and that's not what I paid so this was awesome my friend did tell me that she went to um she went directly from company D to downtown Disney right after and she saw a number of spiritures in, in different bags and things that were discounted at the cast member store and they were full price in the park so she was like you gotta pay attention you gotta know what these deals are so I'm very very happy to have gotten one of these and I have an extra one again for the future the next thing that she got me I was like dying on the inside when she told me they had these because I have been trying to get this in downtown Disney I specifically made a trip there in the beginning of October after seeing this in someone's vlog on YouTube and they told me they had just put them out and for some reason they had been restocked from the back and they couldn't find them so I guess they had sold out or whatever the case might be obviously they didn't sell out because they took them to company D and I got one of that now so this is the um this is a Space Mountain wishable and he looks like a cute little dumpling this reminds me of Bao it looks like Bao the character like a Bao bun I love Chinese Bao bun so I just want to eat it <laughs> you know but I'm not he's so cute I love his little smile and then like the regular wishables there's our stars in his eyes he's got little rosy cheeks it's just so adorable this sticks out as well so it's like a little bit of a um, perforated edge on either side and all around and then it's just a very soft plush on the interior and he's got a little like tucked in the front so this is just a cute little space mountain wishable and this is one of the um 
the open edition ones that were like, you know, outside the box. But I wanted this. This is the one that I wanted. She could have also gotten me the bag of Wishables. They had these as well. And both of them were on sale for $2.99. So I was like, I will just get this one, the one that I wanted the most and not the mystery bag. And thank you very much, Jesse. So I love this little guy so much. So excited that I finally have one. I'm going to actually just put him right here. He's just going to sit there for the rest of the video because that's how excited I am to finally have that in my possession. At my recent live sale, I sold my last pair of this. So I got another one. She had these ears, these Toy Story light up Christmas ears. And it has like the alien and the ornaments and everything. They do light up and go in different centers. I got one of these because they're so much fun and she tested it, made sure that it works. Um, then she put the thing back in. But I can't wait to use this come Christmas time because I did go ahead and get rid of the last one that I had. So it's nice to get things back occasionally. This other one right here is the other ear ornament. I'm just going to keep it wrapped up because it's already nice and sealed. And then my um, last item that I got from... Company D, so you guys can see I didn't get too much. I didn't go too crazy this time. Sorry if my camera is crooked, by the way. Um, but my last item is an Alex and Ani. I was specifically asking her for certain things. I was like, do they have the purple potion backpack? Do they have this? Do they have this one sweater that I'm looking for from Walt Disney World? By the way, if you guys see it and you're in the Walt Disney World area, anyone who sees this video, please let me know. I'm looking for a size large in the Walt Disney World, the beautiful pullover sweater. It was on Shop Disney for a while, but only in a size extra small, and I need a size large. So if you see this in Disney World, please call me up, message me, just buy it, and I will send you the money. I want it so bad, but it wasn't at the outlet, unfortunately, at the Company D place. But they did have Alex and Ani's, and specifically, this is a Halloween one. It's the Hatbox Ghost. I happen to love the Hatbox Ghost. I even have a Haunted Mansion um, trinket behind me with him on it. So I was very excited to see this guy in person. 50 years of happy haunts on the back. So cool. It's an Alex and Ani. These are $50 normally. And I got it for $15. So I was very excited to get a new Alex and Ani to add to my jewelry collection. Yes, yes, and yes. And that's it for the Company D store. So thanks again to my friend for getting me those. And thanks again to my friend Archero for giving her the pass to get in because it was really sweet. And he was there also while she was calling me. He's like, is that Christina? I was like, hey! <laughs> and she was like, tell me all the things. Then she went to Downtown Disney. And I had just been there the day prior getting stuff from a special merchandise event. Um, this week of uh, October 26th through 29 or 28, Disneyland had one of those special events once again, and I was able to go and um, reserve a spot. And they basically had a Walt, Di Walt and Mickey partner statue figurine for $30. They had a large Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Funko for $30. And then they had a couple of surprise releases. They had the Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket that made its appearance again. The uh, little ice cube that had Disneyland and it like lit up. That sold out before I got there, unfortunately. That's the first time I've ever seen anything sell out, but they told me they had just sold out earlier that morning, so boo. Um, and then they had the popcorn buckets, these retro popcorn buckets, and I did film it, so I'm going to insert that footage right now so you guys can see it. So when I went to that Disneyland event this week, the one item that I really wanted to get was this popcorn bucket. It's very retro and like old school looking. You can see it's got like a plastic top and bottom all around. It's just like it has Fantasyland Castle on the side, Adventureland on that side. Frontierland on this end and Tomorrowland on that side. So both of these sides had the same exact logo and it's just this Disneyland logo. It's a Disneyland 65th anniversary logo kind of with Mickey and Minnie with the castle behind them. It's got the Hatbox Ghost, Rocket, Cinderella, um, BB-8, Buzz and Woody, Mr. Toad, and the very bottom is the Disneyland marquee sign that has become so popular. So this is the top right here. You can see it does have the notches on either end and that's to put the popcorn bucket strap because the idea was to wear this as a popcorn bucket in the park and since the park is now closed. So I just took the strap out and I put it on the sides and basically it's just like this blue and pink stripe but this is the strap, oh it keeps coming off, but this is the strap that you would use to carry your popcorn bucket. So yay! Happy times at Disneyland. Okay, so that was the popcorn bucket. Pretty cool, huh? And then after that event, I went and I got a couple of things from the parks as well, but I was specifically looking for the Christmas pins and they only had one. When my friend went the next day, they had the other two styles that I wanted. 
So I picked them up. I'm going to show it you right now. One is the ever popular Mickey Gingerbread Man. I mean, he is so cute. I love him so much. Look at his smiley face. He's painted so well. He's got a red Santa hat, green eyes, peppermint for the cheeks, and then a nice button nose, like a little jelly bean, and little like st uh, star icing shapes right in his ears. So these were super popular and flying off the shelves. They didn't have it when my, fir for my friend first got there. And then they started to restock it. And she's like, Christina, I see it. And I'm like, get it, get it, get it. So she got me this one. And I got an extra one because I wanted to have one for a giveaway or my, you know, in the future. Like I, like I said, I'm picking up Christmas items. So I have an extra duplicate for later. And then in addition to that, I also was able to get the Mickey and Minnie Kissing Under the Mistletoe pin because that had not been there in the, the shelves the previous day. It, it had flown off the shelves by the time I got there. So thanks to my friend Jesse, I now own this pin as well. So those are my new Disney Parks items that from this particular trip that she gave me. And now I'm gonna go into my other stuff that I picked up myself. And I will start with the Disney store. I showed in my first big Christmas haul of 2020, if you guys haven't seen that, I will insert that above. You should go watch it. I showed a lot of Christmas stuff, including these really cute um, gingerbread cookie jars, as well as plushes. I have the plushes that have sold out so many times at the Disney store. Um, there was only one store in my area that had even had any of these re remaining, so I went and bought two more. I already showed you that I bought the Mickey and Minnie. Oh my god, they smell so good. Every time I get near these, I just want to smell them. They smell like gingerbread. If you guys, like, spoiler alert, these things actually smell like gingerbread. So it smells so delicious. And I have two Minnie Mouse. This is all that my store had. If somebody wants this, I will offer this for sale. I will literally just sell it for like $5 more than the actual selling price, so not that much of a markup. But if you are interested, let me know. I have two Minnie Mouse gingerbread plushies ready to go. Um, I grabbed it before my store sold out because they were flying off the shelves and I live near three stores um, and the other three stores were all sold out already. So there you go. Gingerbread for the win. I love these things. They smell amazing. They're so cute and they're going to be perfect for the holiday season. So I did grab two extras just in case somebody who watches my channel was interested. Also of note, when I went to Disneyland, they were trying to get rid of these bags um, the previous weeks because this is, was supposed to be the Halloween party bags. It has Mandalorian on this side, has Disney Soul on this side. So they have so many of these and instead of giving the small Disneyland bags, the regular bags, they were giving these out because they wanted to get rid of these. So I thought that was interesting because I also went to a special um, pin pickup event at Disney Studio Store Hollywood and they gave us several of these extra in the bag too. Let me go show you that actually. Okay, so when I went to El Capitan to get the pin pickup, they had done a couple of PTD releases. This is the bag they gave me. It does say El Capitan Theater. Hollywood concessions to go. You could have gotten any kind of snacks. I did get a popcorn um, container as well as um, a drink. So I got an icy a popcorn and the pin. That was the PTD deal that they're doing right now. Um, in the past, it had been ice cream when it would go in the, the store, but since we can't get ice cream now, they're just giving you concessions. And then you could also buy candy and other things from the movie theater as well. So that was kind of cool. Um, I also got a, a churro that we forgot to eat. So it stayed around. That's cool. But... <laughs> Um, when I went to that event, they gave us this, and I am just looking at this for the first time. I was so busy that day, but it does say Happy Halloween, Spooktacular Season at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. It's got a word search puzzle, so that's kind of cool. Some activities for your kids to do later on. Um, and then it just has, like, another, like, word puzzle. So all kinds of fun activities in this packet. I literally have not looked at this bag until now. So I missed out on a couple of things. Yeah, there's a bunch of different, um things. There's a bunch of Halloween treats, for example, um, Halloween jokes, excuse me. For example, what do ghosts serve for dessert? Ice cream! Get it? Ice cream! Uh, when is it bad luck to meet a black cat? When you're a mouse! Or when you're meeting Binks, it's not so bad. But anyway, <laughs> so there's a lot of different jokes on here. It's like Disney Family, Disney.com. Um, references and then there's another like coloring sheet with Mickey and Minnie and Halloween gear so that's kind of cool so it literally is like a whole packet and the last page of here is just a crossword puzzle with a nice color photo so that's adorable again never opened this this is my first time looking at it apparently they also gave us this which actually says that they had an all about Halloween trivia event Join us online Thursday, October 29th at 5 p.m. As I'm filming this, that was the day before. So had I seen this, I actually would have probably tried to do this trivia. Now it's too late, so that sucks. But thanks for the opportunity, El Capitan. <laughs> then we have a couple of those bags. Like I said, they literally slipped in like three extra bags. 
just cause they were selling um, not this shirt but the other Hocus Pocus shirt with the Sanderson sisters all over print and they had all the plushies and they had a bunch of surprise um, Disney plushies and things that were previously sold at online on Shop Disney but yet they had it at the El Capitan Theater so they had like a little pop-up Halloween event it was really nice and it was a lot of fun to go there and then this is the pin that I got it's actually the um, the mother from The Incredibles holding a shake and I do have another one from The Incredibles already so I decided to get this to go along with that and also possibly have this for trade so if someone's interested in this pin you can let me know but since this was the one that was available I did grab it they also had a Maleficent one that had sold out that day sadly so I when I see these pins I try to get a chance to get it and again this price included the pin plus popcorn and an icy and it was just a fun experience to go to the movies since at least in my area the movies have been closed so that was a lot of fun um as of filming this we did end up going to the movie theater to the drive-in movie theater uh like literally that weekend after so i have gone to the theater experience again in our car and that was nice thank goodness that california still has some drive-in movie theater so we did do that and that was a lot of fun i'm just gonna put my shop disney ghost in the palm of my hand because i love that he lights up and I just saw Taryn get one of these in her boo ball box and it reminded me how much how I love mine. It's just been in the background in my display all this time, but I love my Mickey ghost. And then the next thing that I have is from the Disney store again. And this is something that I literally just forgot to show during my Christmas haul because it had been sitting in a box and I took this box out and forgot to open it. So I've had this for a while, but let's open it for the first time. You guys can see it's sealed. So this is my first time seeing my in-person one. I did see this in the store, in the Disney store already. And it is the gingerbread ornament key. So this is literally an ornament that you can hang on your tree, but it's also a Disney key. And it's very Christmasified with a Mickey gingerbread. So that's what he looks like up close in person. I mean, this is so cute. The key does say 2020. Am I doing that backwards? There we go with the peppermint. And I love the little castle detail as well. So it's a very cute design all around. And this is... Um, $20. It was $20 from the Disney store and I just ordered mine from Shop Disney to make sure that I had a guarantee of getting one. So that is a fun Christmas edition as well. So I'm going to go into my Marshalls and the other stuff real quick. From Marshalls I did get this countdown, Christmas countdown calendar. And this is not Disney but it is Christmas related and since I love Christmas stuff I wanted to share it. But it is Mickey, but it is Santa and Rudolph and I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's one of my favorite Christmas classics. Christmas classics. Christmas classics. Oh my god, I can't say that. But it was really fun um, growing up. I loved it. And it does say days till Christmas and you can change this around. You can say 24, 23, etc, etc, etc. So I thought that'd be a fun Christmas calendar to put on my table um, just because I love Santa and Rudolph so much. So something fun for Christmas time. And again, I got that from Marshalls and that was $7.99. From Michaels, I got a couple of things. They had this Disney holiday countdown calendar. And this is a milk chocolate countdown calendar. My daughter loves these things, as I've now discovered from the past couple years of doing these. So I will be doing a countdown calendar. I might not be filming this for my channel because, um, here's a spoiler alert. I'm not planning on doing Vlogmas this year. It is a lot of work and it's actually very stressful to um, maintain that ongoing schedule. And for the past couple of years, I've actually put a lot of pressure on myself to put up a lot of videos and keep it timely in order to do Vlogmas. And even though last year I had a lighter vlogmas schedule, I just don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself. I didn't like it. I didn't like the feeling. It's such a stressful time in general. And with COVID and everything, we're just staying home in general. I just want to spend more time with my family. So during the Christmas season in December, I will probably be uploading less, maybe like once a week, not as frequent as I do now. Maybe I will, or maybe I will still do, be doing two or three times a week, but I'll be at my leisure. I won't be like forced to do it. So I'm looking forward to just having a break. Um, but I did get this for my family to enjoy, and this is a Merry Christmas milk chocolate calendar. Each day you can open up one of the flaps and have a chocolate inside. It does say love and joy to all, and this does say that this has a uh, milk chocolate uh, base in there, and then it has the ingredient list. So something fun for Michaels. I think this was like $5. It wasn't too expensive, so I grabbed it. And then Michaels also had this Santa Tower. This was $15. It's from Limax, exclusively at Michaels. And it just has Merry Christmas with Santa Claus on like a water tower. Water tower, excuse me. Something fun and festive for one of my displays in my house. I'm always looking for Christmas decor, so this is for Michaels. Also for Michaels, I made sure I got this snow. This artificial snow sells out every year by like December 1st in my area. So since it was out already in October, I said, you know what? I'm buying this bad boy because I want to spray my tree with artificial snow. So I'm that person. We don't have snow here in California. I have to make it any which way I can. 
artificial snow for the win. I also got this, um, the Sensicles Christmas tree scent because last year we used it for the first time and they have a really good potent, um, fake Christmas tree smell. And since we have a, a fake tree now, we're not going to get a new one. I, my, my husband really is into the Christmas tree smell. So if we can't have a real tree, he wants us to still smell like a Christmas tree. And even opening this now, it smells like you put your nose to it. It smells like a fir tree. So because it just brings all that Christmas goodness that you get when you think about a Christmas tree scent, I did grab these. You just literally hang it like an ornament off of your tree. You can just hang like one. These are strong. You don't need more than one, like one or two. And then as the season goes on, you can just replace it and add more. But these work really well. They're $10 and these also sold out last year. So since I saw a whole ton of them at Michael's, I grabbed one now. And Michael's had these little like snow globe um, things. So I did grab one of these to make a DIY. They also had these little like fake glass ornaments. I got these to make Mickey ears out of. I did get the ones from Joann's, but I figure you'd not have too much. So let's get extras from Michael's while I could. And these were like $3 each, so not bad deal at all. This was $7 for the snow globe, so seven, three. And then because I really like name ornaments, I got the little letters of all our names. So this one says C for my name, Christina. It's a peppermint candy cane. They had these at Michael's for a couple dollars. M is for my husband's name. I got an N for Nicholas and I got this, an I for Isabella. So I will have all of our names represented on the tree. We do have some of these already, but I just thought these fun little peppermint candy ones were even cuter. So I wanted to add that. Home Goods had a lot of Disney stuff and this is one of them. They have this mug. It literally says Mickey Mouse and has him in his Christmas festive wear. So he's colored in red. There's black and white. You can see him in his Santa outfit here. It's just like a nice drawn sketch design all over. Here he is with his like holiday scarf and it says Mickey Mouse and it's just a fun sketch drawing. You guys know I like sketch things. Little oblong shaped top. A fun little Christmas mug. I know I always say I don't want Christmas mugs but I saw this cute little darling and I said Okay, twist my arm, let's get it. And this was $8 at, at Home Goods. So this is the big plate and this is the small plate. It's the exact same design and it's got that same drawn motif of Mickey in the holiday sweater, um, holiday scarf, excuse me, and then him with the Christmas hat up there and it's like black and white with a little hint of red, a little bit of, um, was it Schindler's List going on here? But it's really cute. I love the Mickey Mouse plates and these are real plates. These aren't fake plates. And these were $3.99 each. So I was like, uh, this is a steal. Thought that was really cute. So a nice little plate set. I can have a tumbler and a small plate together come Christmas time. Love it. Finally, I saw this Christmas Minnie Mouse one as well. So I also grabbed it to go along with the Mickey. And here is Minnie with a scarf with a little fun expression. And it's got sayings all around. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Here, her skirt is flying up with a Santa Mickey hat. So I love, or Santa Minnie hat in this case. I love the Christmas little designs. And what it says is it says, skirt can take part and take. Feet close together make her more ladylike. So it's like little details about like the sketching, which is kind of awesome. So these were at Home Goods. Amazing, amazing deals. I mentioned this in another vlog, but from the Disney store, I also got this Joy. Um, it's a mask. It has a peppermint stripes and it has Joy in the center with Minnie Mouse Santa. I love this so much. My friend's store had this, so she picked this up. One, she picked this one up for me. Then this was the other one. This is the gingerbread one that I showed that I had the child one, and she had. The adult one in large size, so I got one of those for myself as well. From Ross, I was able to pick up this advent calendar as well. You can see it has 12 boxes, they're all sealed together. It's just a fun advent calendar. You can see it was four dollars. I saw this and I was like, you could put pins in here, you could do all kinds of fun stuff, candies. I might do pins though, so this might be our new um display this year. It's not it's not a Disney, obviously, but Something fun with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and for $4, good price. Also had these, oversized oven mitt and pot holder, so I did get this set. You can see it's Minnie Mouse in like a little like scarf set, and it has like this, um, it's like a leather uh, interior right here, or exterior, excuse me, and then like on this side, it's more of the cloth. And then this one's just a regular pot holder. Um, it's got the same leather on the other side, but you can see that it has like the square design as well as the long glove design, so this is the two-piece set. And this was $5.99 from Marshalls. Also from Ross, I got this, and it's a two-piece set. I have one here, one there. I'm not sure which one of these I might put up for my Christmas giveaway, but that's why I got both of them. They're two-pack oversized mini mitts. They're so cute. I really like the Mickey Mouse in this one. So I'm thinking I might keep this one and actually give away that set, but we'll see. At any rate, the price on this one was, um, it says compared at $10, but the actual price was $5.99. And then because I had a lot of gingerbread merch, I also saw this at Ross. 
and it was this joy like table runner I don't actually have any Christmas table runners. I always want to get them, but I can never find one that wasn't super expensive. Um, so I liked this one. They're usually like $20 to $40. This one was, let's see. You can see it does say table runner from the Charming Home Collection. I love the gingerbread on here. And it even had like a little string. Um, it's just like a little sewn on gingerbread man um, icon. So I thought that was really cute. And the price on this was $11. Great price from Ross. I never find table runners, like I said. So $11 I thought was actually a pretty good deal. And because I have a sense that my haul is going to go pretty long, I'm going to do the rest of my Disneyland purchases pretty quickly. I got a couple of Halloween items, including this Madame Leota sipper. This was like all the rage in, um, in Walt Disney World. And it was finally released in Disneyland, and so I had to get it. I thought it was kind of cute. Up here is a straw portion. So this pops open and then you have the little straw right there to drink out of. So super cute little Halloween slash everyday item. And she glows and lights up. Awesome little thing. Love it, love it, love it. So cool. And this was restocked, so I had to get this. I showed this in a previous haul, my Halloween haul. I got it for my friend, and so I grabbed one for myself because I didn't know at the time that this Madame Leota crystal ball, which is $25 in the parks or downtown Disney, actually you can put water on the inside, and then it creates like this cool, like, potion-y effect. And because of that, I was like, oh, I need this item. So I did go ahead and grab this crystal ball while I could to create that fun potion. It says just add water for fog effect. Can't wait to try it, and... For that fun design feature, I did get this Madame Leota, and she also makes sounds. Serpents and spiders, hail of a rat, call in the spirits, wherever they're at. You guys have seen this. I had this on the side. This is the new Wishable pack that just came out. You can see it has Cogsworth, the wardrobe, armoire, and then you also have the um, Miss Lumiere, the lamp, obviously. And Bow, an Enchanted Tales book. So those are the four options that come in this Wishables pack. I can't wait to see which one I get, so I did grab that to see what Wishable I got. And then in addition to that, I needed this so badly, I got Beast. So this is the Beast Wishable. He is so cute and so soft. I love his tuft of hair, his eyes. This is just so, so nice. And I love the little cape as well. So nice. I love this Wishable. And then the thing that I like nearly died about was the mini gingerbread plush. I saw this little plush keychain and I thought it was so cute. Look at its fuzzy little hair. So adorable. You have like a little like fob there to hang it onto a backpack. Definitely gonna have to do that this holiday season. And yes, I did grab two with it in mind to pass one on to somebody else. Unlike the ones in the Disney store, it does not have a gingerbread scent, sadly. That would have made this so much better, but super cute. And then my very last item, I told you that I had gotten a Santa pin previous when I went, and this is the pin itself. It's Santa Mickey holding his hand up to his face, about to jump to the chimney with the bag of toys. So cute, $10 in the parks, amazing. I was already scrubbing off my, um, you see my nose is so pink. I have rosacea and this is what my nose looks like. Um, when I have flare-ups, I'm having a flare-up right now, so I already had started taking off my makeup because I was just trying to clean my face, but then I realized I forgot to film something, and my daughter wants a treat, and I was like, I can just do them both at the same time. For the month of October, Disneyland announced that they were going to be doing some featured treats throughout downtown Disney in different locations, but the main treat location to actually get the actual park's treats was going to be at Marceline's Confectionery, which is the place to get treats outside the park anyway, and they had all kinds of Halloween treats, and... I tried. I went to Disneyland probably three times over the past month, and each time I went, there was over a two-hour wait to get into Marceline. My friend Jessie was going to go to downtown. While she was there, the first thing she did was get in the line, and it was a 45-minute wait, so she picked me up some treats. I finally got a chance to try them, and let me show you what I got. I, of course, had to get Ursula. This is an Ursula candy apple. I cannot wait to go ahead and try this. I'm going to take it out of the packaging because I am going to eat this right after filming. We're going to cut into this. But because tomorrow, as I'm filming, is Halloween, I knew this is my last chance to actually have a chance to enjoy this. But look at the beautiful design. Ursula's tentacles. This is cool. It has her amulet. And what's nice about this particular design is that I hear that this is supposed to be dark chocolate. Usually when you have these caramel apples, they are milk chocolate. I'm trying to show the bottom of this as well. 
look how good that looks but i am such a dark chocolate person if you guys haven't seen me at my channel before i'm very specific about what kind of chocolate i like and dark chocolate is my favorite so i cannot wait to dive into this it smells delicious it smells so good and then the other thing that i had her pick up although i wanted a cookie and all that i was like i'm not gonna eat that in time for halloween so maybe next time but i did get this classic chocolate covered marshmallow wand it's just like chocolate dipped with a little chocolate swirl and then you can see there's marshmallows on the interior we love marshmallows in my house this is going to go so quick it would go great in hot chocolate actually but i'm gonna go and enjoy both my treats now that i'm done filming and can't wait to get into it by the way i changed my ears to actually match the hocus pocus shirt that i'm wearing but that's it for me today guys so i hope you enjoyed my video i'm off to go eat and her hair fell off. we've already gone through half of this but this is basically a white chocolate disc with some dark chocolate um, glazed over. Absolutely amazing. And then this wand is um, coated in caramel first, and then it's the marshmallow. I forgot to mention that. So milk chocolate, caramel. It's so good. It's, it's so hot good. Cocoa. And then we also made some hot cocoa to go along with it for dipping. So this has been a fun adventure. That was my entire haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. A lot of fun Christmas stuff. I know I'm wearing my Hocus Pocus, so I have a little bit of Halloween going on, but I wanted to get the Christmas in there too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you guys soon in the next video. Hope you're taking care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.